2 alongside Dallas and Paul. I'm Garrett, and yeah, it's the last night of the regular season on the Division 1A scene, and that means that it's time to check in with a couple of the big battles on the Division 1A scene, and we'll check in with Zach Mooney and Mike Rogers, guys. Thanks, Garrett. Tonight was a very important night in Division 1A. Lowry was hoping to get a third place spot, but in order to do that, they had to beat Churchill County tonight, and Dayton had to beat Fernley. We're going to start things off down in Fallon. Churchill County getting things going, a little pregame huddle going on. Lowry starts the game with the ball, and it's Christian Gray hands it off to Donovan Brum. He blows right up the gut, 68 yards before he's dragged down. Buckaroos would punch it in on the next play. Lowry leads 7-0. Next drive now for the Green Wave. They can run the ball too. This is Joe Pyle. Hands it off to Nathan Heck who finds the hole. Breaks it off for 40 yards here. A few plays later now, Pyle. He's going to fake the handoff to Heck on the read option. He marches into the end zone and we're tied up at sevens. In the second quarter, same score. Pyle and Heck again on the option. Heck gets swallowed up. He doesn't have the ball. Pyle takes out the Buckaroos and even Zach. My bad. And a late hit will put Fallon on their own 10-yard line. And the next play, it's play action. Dylan Jabinas in the end zone. He picks up six. They would miss the extra point. That doesn't matter, though. The Green Wave completes their undefeated season 34-7. All right, so Fernley Senior Night for football cheer and dance teams. Third quarter, Vaquero Ball. They're already up 28-8. They fake the pitch. Kevin Montgomery is going to hit Carlos McIntyre. Matt Montgomery was finished with 204 yards and four touchdowns. And i got to stop trusting these kids. Extra point makes it 35-8 Fernley. So next possession for Dayton. Benji fly back to punt. But snap sails over his head. Now check out the hustle from number 42, Devin Archer. He falls on in the end zone. They're now up 42-8. So same score, Dayton not going to lay down. Davis Weinbarger hits Julio Meza in the flat. Some nice footwork. He's knocked out of bounds inside the 30, but Dayton would end up turning it over on downs. So Fernley with the ball. Montgomery f fumbles the handoff here. He tries to make the most of it. He's going to cut back across the field. Drag down and fumbles again. So Dayton ball, Skyler Bernston. He takes it up the middle for the score. It's now 42-13. But the Vaqueros weren't done. Archer caps off his senior night with this 80-yard run up the middle. I have a feeling you may be seeing this one again. Fernley wins this one big, 48-21. to So the teams are all set for the Northern Division 1A playoffs. Fallon takes the top seed. Elko will be number two, followed by Fernley at three and Lowry at four. So for Mike Rogers, I'm Zach Mooney. Garrett, send it back to you. All right, guys, thanks a lot. We're not done with the 1As, though, Dallas. No, we are not. Wooster was at it tonight as they hosted Sparks. The Railroaders haven't won a game in three seasons. So, foreshadowing? Let's find out. 21 nothing. Railroader Five lead in the third. Five shadowing, yes. <laughs> That's defensive play right there by the tough name of the night, Ataloa Nui Tuioko Longahau. Yes. Nice job. Tough name of the night. Gets the sack. Wooster, though, would eventually find the end zone. Hunter triplet to Chris Greco for the touchdown, 21-7. Quarter change and another Colt touchdown. Triplet to Solomon Loris, 21-13 game. So Rob Cottrell decides to slow the Raiders down. They eat some clock. They move the ball down the field, eating up six minutes in the fourth quarter. That's half the fourth quarter. And it gets them to the goal line. On the play action, Silas Sanchez fakes me out. And he keeps it into the end zone. Railroaders, hold on. First win in three seasons, 27, 27 to 20. Well, congratulations to the railroads. I know our photographer, Gabby, is really happy. She's yes. an old lump and painful for her. Hey, don't you go anywhere. We still have to talk a little bit about the Wolfpack football team and that two-game win streak. Stick around. 